When we hit June of this year, I didn't realize that we were actually halfway through the year already. When focusing on just one goal, time seems to slip by. I took my nose off the grindstone and looked down at the path that I've been traveling on for the past six months, and I realized that all my goals had lost meaning. It was a bit of a mid-year crisis, and that made me rethink everything. I had a couple thousand subscribers, but it meant nothing to me. Even though I love making videos, they started to feel like a means to an end. I was like, oh, had my goals been useless this whole time? Because think about it, right? Successful people and unsuccessful people have the same goals that you and I have. Money, fame, freedom, big titty wife. Everyone wants those things, right? So if successful and unsuccessful people both have the same goals, then goals cannot be what differentiates the winners from the losers. So what does? Like what most people do, I obsessed over the goal. It gave me like a sense of purpose. The only thoughts in my brain were YouTube. My channel banner was my goal. My phone wallpaper was my goal. My laptop wallpaper was my goal. My wall wallpaper was my goal. And it wasn't just daydreaming either because I actually put in the work. I got a couple thousand subscribers. But then as time went on, YouTube started to feel like such an empty pursuit. I loved making videos, but it just felt like I was making them for the wrong reason. Because I obsessed over the goal so much, videos just became a means to attain that goal. Videos just felt like a means to an end. And because of that, I didn't even like making them. I wasn't present, I wasn't in a flow state, I was like constantly checking the script like, oh, am I saying the right thing? Am I saying the right thing? I focused more on the sub count instead of focusing on the actual video. And I think a lot of obsessive, like goal-oriented people like myself, we fall into this trap of prioritizing the goal over the actual activity. Look at it like this, and this is one of the most important things I've learned over the past six months. Pursuing goals is like driving a car. When you get into a car, you need to know where you're going. The only reason you get into a car is because you want to get out of the car in a different place. You can't just get into the car and start driving through red lights and a group of kindergartners walk past and you're like, oh, sorry, boom. So you need the final destination. And there are a couple rules that will get you there. Stop at red go at green, for example. The goal, the place that you're going to, is vital, right? You put into the GPS, and then you go. But once you start, once you're actually moving, you don't look at the GPS anymore. You have to be aware of the road. You take note of people crossing the road, you take note of pedestrians, look at the red lights, and you look at the stop signs. It's only every once in a while, when you feel lost, when you don't know which road to take, that's when you look back at the GPS. If you're driving, but you're constantly looking at the GPS, you're gonna crash. And I realized that that is what separates the winners from the losers. The goal of the loser is to commit to the goal, the final destination. The goal of the winner is to commit to the activity. Bars, bro. So goals are just a direction. When moving in this direction, your goal within the goal, like the thing your mind is supposed to focus on, is just loving the work every day. Because if you just love working out, for example, you don't actually need the goal to become fit. If you just love working out, over time, you'll just naturally become fit because you love working out. You'll spend like two hours a day exercising just for fun. And I'm not saying to slack off or like, you know, journey before the destination because that sounds kind of gay. Still work hard. What I'm saying is that the end point is just a place. It doesn't change you. It's the day-to-day -day experience that changes you. You can't just stare into the GPS, only focusing on the goal, then wonder why you keep crashing. This is what happens to me. Of course you'll crash, right? Of course you won't make progress. Most people don't have goals. They've never written down a goal in their life. And if you ask them to, they write down like some small dick goal, like, oh, 1,000 subs by the end of the year. That's like level one ambition. Level two ambition is what I had. I want to make progress, so I'll work super hard. I'll, I'll obsess over the goal. I'll 100x my goal. I'll get to 100k subs. That's like, that's medium dick energy, right? This guy just wants progress. But the ultimate level we should try to get to is living in a constant flow state, always focused on the task at hand instead of the goal. Only when we're lost, when we don't know where to go, that's when we use our goals as direction again. We're more ambitious than the guy who's just in it for the results. We want the results, but also with huge life satisfaction. This is when we make the most progress, but also when we feel the most fulfilled. Commit to the activity, not to the results. Like when I hit 10k subscribers, I felt nothing. It was like, oh, that's it? 
Nice. I felt more happy when I hit 1k subscribers than 100k subscribers. You don't feel any different when you achieve a big goal. I talked about this in another video, but it's not about what you get. It's about who you become when you achieve the goal. I'll just read it straight from the goat himself. Those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, that is actually the dream. Kobe Bryant. You know, something I told my editor, he was busy so he couldn't get the video out to me in time. And he just, I just said, yeah, that's fine. Take as much time as you need. A late video is really only late until it gets released. Then it's just a video, right? But a bad video, a rushed video is bad till the end of time, right? Forever. <laughs> I realized that this whole time, the flow state experience, the journey is just making good videos. When I started making videos 8 months ago, it, I made it this hard like disciplined task like yeah, I'm gonna get to 100k subscribers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna- You don't know me so- And I got decent progress but ask yourself, who would do better? The person who is making videos just for the result of 100k subscribers? Or the person who just likes making videos, so he just makes videos for like 16 hours a day because it's genuinely his obsession. So because I'm an obsessive person, I obsessed over the goal, but recently, I shifted it from obsessing over the goal to obsessing over just the individual video. So I'm still an obsessive person, don't worry, I'm not a sane person yet. But I'm obsessing over making each video as creative and as interesting as possible instead of obsessing over numbers on a screen because yeah those numbers are nice and they can you know provide a little motivation but look too long and you might crash so if your work has started to lose meaning and you're obsessed over the goal but you're not making any progress the mindset shift that really skyrocketed my progress was your work should not be a means to attain a goal the goal should just serve as a means for you to produce your best work so what I asked myself was, if the goal didn't exist, if the 100k subscribers didn't exist, would I still be making videos? And the answer was yes, because I just like making videos. Like I'm not even monetized, I don't make money from this, I just do it because I like it, it's just a hobby. And that's how to know if you're driving down the correct road. Remove the final destination. Take away the money, the likes on Instagram and validation away from it. Would you still be doing what you're doing? Without the rewards, would you just do it for fun? Because the people who drive the furthest and ironically get the most rewards, they don't view it as work at that point. It's just play. That's what separates the winners from the losers. And I realized that that is when our goals have meaning because that's when we experience flow state every day. That's when we're happiest. That's when the goal doesn't even matter because we do the activity just for free. That is actually the dream. Take action. Man, this video took three months to make. Three months of learning lessons distilled into one video. But yeah, I think it's actually a really good video. See, this, this script, it took, th it took three months. It's crazy. All right. Give me a kiss.